in the kitchen. We're at the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden at Whedon Heights Primary School and I have two celebrity chefs here today. I've got Leah. Hi. And Tara. Hi. And they're going to be cooking two delicious things. They're going to be doing a juice with celebrity chef Gabrielle Gatte and a lovely tomato and basil bruschetta with Chef Ange. There's only one problem. Where's, Where's Carity? Fine Carity. Okay I'll go down here. Carity! Carity, it's not time to be playing hide and seek right now. Why are you hiding up there? I heard that Gabriel Gatay was coming and he was going to make juice. Carrot juice! Not carrot juice, fruit juice! Oh, that's Silly right. Carity! <laughs> but we still need to find Basil as well, Carity. Yeah, yeah, where's Basil? Yeah, I know where Basil is. Let's go find her. Basil! Okay. good for Carity. Oh, Tara, well, you'll find that basil is high in antioxidants. Do you know what antioxidants are? No. They're very good for strengthening our immune system so we stay nice and healthy. Do you know what else people use basil for? Um, no. People like to put, what do you have in the shower? Soap. Soap! Shampoo. And shampoo. People like to put basil in their soap, soap and shampoo. Isn't that a bit weird? No, because people really like the smell of it, just like we really like the smell and taste of it in our food. Shall we pick some? Yeah. Great. Why don't you get out your secateurs? Those look pretty good. They look delicious. You've got some now. Yeah. Good job. Should we go and get some tomatoes with Leah? Yeah. Yay! Let's go and find Leah. First I have to close my secateurs though. Good girl. That's our safety tip. Carity, what's that in your mouth? Oh, I'm loving <laughs> I've been picking tomatoes! <laughs> <laughs> Fresh from our garden! Have you got any more in there, Carity? No, no more in here, but I've got some Roma tomatoes here for you, Leah. Do you oh, want to pick them? Yeah, okay. Should I pick the red ones or the green ones? Which ones do you think? I think the red ones. Beautiful! Give them a little twist and a pull. Bit hard, I'll hold this for you. Good job. How many? As many as there are red ones. Last one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, uh, eating fruit is always very exciting because they are very juicy, so it is easy to eat. They are very sweet, so we all love them, and they have a distinctive flavor. Now, Ta, what's your favorite fruit? Um, strawberries. Strawberry. Well, it is really good because today we are going to make a strawberry, watermelon and pear fruit. And Ooh. yes, it is <laughs> exciting. And it is good to mix several fruits and to mix the several fruits with different colors. So you get a new color when you make the juice. Do you mind to cut some watermelon into small pieces? What we are going to do, we are going to use a juicer. Uh, Tara is going to cut the watermelon into small pieces and I'm going to wash some strawberries because when you uh, eat strawberries, you need to wash them. They have been growing in the sand, so there's always a little bit of grit on them. And there's a good technique that is better than the others where you put some water in a bowl and then you put the strawberries in the water like that. Apple okay. Popping. Yeah, it's quite, they, they usually float. And then with your hand very gently, you push them in like that so the grit falls in the bottom of the water and then with your fingers you lift them out you don't remove the water into the sink but you need to lift them out so the grit stays in the bowl and that is really good to do that 
Now we are also going to use some pairs. And how do you recognize that a pair is ripe? Do you remember? Um, yellow. Yeah, yellow yes. is the, the ripest. This is a William pear. It's good to know the pears by the name of their variety. And you can see one is a bit greener and one is a bit more yellower. And when it is yellow, it is really ripe. Okay? And when it is very yellow, it's usually too ripe and they get damaged very, very quickly. So we are going to use like some... this one? Yeah, it is a bit damaged. So you see that like this is very lovely. It's bruised. So what we do yeah, in that course. case is that you remove, you cut off the bruise, right? Yeah. Because it's a pity to throw Shave a fruit. Because, so you just trim it like that. And what we are going to do for the juice, we are going to use the skin because the skin is good. We have washed the pear. And I'm cutting, I'm just trimming the core like that. All right? And then I'm going to put, it, put them directly into our juicer, the pears like that. So it's very simple. And you use one of your paring knife for that. It's very safe and it's a bit easier to cut it in your hand. You just concentrate on what you do and then you don't hurt yourself. I have found myself that after being a chef for how many years? Almost 40 years, <laughs> I have only cut myself when I've been distracted. So if I look at what I'm doing, I don't cut myself. Do you want to uh, cut a few uh, pieces of uh, watermelon so we can just place them in that? And while you do that, I will also cut, uh, trim the strawberries, remove the, the stalk of the strawberries. It's going to be very exciting. Yeah. What are the fruits do you love? Um, is mango a fruit? Mango is a beautiful fruit. I it's one mango. of my favorite fruits. And mango makes some wonderful juice. Do you want to put, um, yeah. Yeah, put a piece on? And then what we do, put a couple maybe, we're even going to push like that. And do you want to hold that? Okay, and I'm going to turn that on now. This is the action. This is so magic. Look at this. It smells nice. It smells so wonderful. It's a pity you can't smell. And look at this because we have put first um, the pears. So the juice has got some pears at the bottom and some uh, strawberries and watermelon. Do you want to have a taste? Okay. That's good. It's so delicious, isn't it? Huh? Well, that's it. It is so simple. You can use all kinds of fruits like pineapple, mangoes, pears, apple, and strawberries, blueberries, almost everything, as long as you trim the things that you will not drink. So that is it for that. Now, just after us, we are going to have Ange and Carothy. They are going to prepare a basil and rosemary pesto with Tara and Leah. Hi, I'm Ange. And today I've got my two helper chefs here, Hi. Leah and Tara. Hi. And we're going to be making a tomato and basil bruschetta. And hopefully we've got a little friend popping in to say hello. That is Carity. Hi, Avenge. Hey, Hi, Carity. Hi, girls. Tara. Hi, Hi Leah. Hi. Carity, why <laughs> are you red? Oh, Leah, I got sunburnt. Oh. <laughs> you can go so my sorry. Aloe vera. Aloe vera? Yeah, that's a great idea. I really need to put some aloe vera on to soothe my burns. Mm -hmm. Make sure you remember your sunscreen. Time. Yeah. Exactly right. And my hat. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we could send you in for a makeover. Yeah. yeah. Makeover. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Maybe but next week I'll look totally different. Yeah. Like I think we should dye this red. <laughs> for now, color. maybe we could just offer her some bruschetta. Sounds yep. right. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we've washed our hands. Uh -huh. Yep. Checkerino. Checkerino. And have we got chucks underneath our boards? Mm. Chucks. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Uh -huh. Why do we need chucks underneath the board? To stop our board from sliding around like that. Or Very good. Unless you could cut your fingers off it when you're chopping. That's so. right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So the first step will be for us to wash our tomatoes. Leah, yeah. would you like to do that? Yep. Yeah. Wash them like in a washing machine, Ange? <laughs> yeah. uh, not quite, oh, Carity. Right. We're just going with the bowl today. Oh, in a bowl. Yes. 
Yeah, washing machine, you probably squish them. Oh, oh. tomato sauce. Yeah. Okay, so you just want to wash them huh. gently with your That's fingers, good. Leah. That's probably enough tomatoes in there. Thanks. It looks like apple bobbing. Yeah, and it feels like brains. Brains! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, we're completely vegetarian here today, Carity. No brains. No brains. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's an absolutely no brainer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's dry the tomatoes. Okay, where's the dryer thing, eh? Oh, here. It's called a tea towel. Now, while she's doing that, Tara, would you like to finely slice or oh, chop two cloves of garlic? Okay. And what's the best way to cut some garlic? With a knife yeah. is normally the best tool. We need to peel the skins off. And the easiest way to get the skins off is, is to, to chop off the top. Is to chop the end off. So if you chop the end off, like that. Watching your fingers. Watch your fingers. And then using the heel of your hand, you put the garlic clove down and you squash it. That's it. Crunch! And oh, I'm oh. glad you're doing that to garlic and not carrots. To make carrots. Me too. <laughs> Definitely me too. Thanks, Liz, for your support. Oh, it's never that's, ending. That's, okay. that's one garlic. Done. <laughs> one very Thank good you. garlic. So we need to finally Next chop garlic. that. How are you going with those tomatoes, Leah? I'm going well. Great. Thank you, Angela. Okay, so what's happening now, Ange, when she's Lee's finished drying the tomatoes, then what's going to happen to the tomatoes? Well then, Carity, I'm going to get her to chop up the tomatoes. Ooh, in big pieces or little pieces? Uh, depending on the size of the tomatoes, really. Maybe for these little small cherry tomatoes, we could just do them in half. Big ones, maybe just in dices. Beautiful. Dices, like, <laughs> what you play with, dice? No, Carity, dices. Not quite. I don't even Still know what that so dice much means. To learn. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what that dice means. And We've always got plenty of time for you, Carrie. Yep. Thanks, Anne. You want me to slice it? Dice it, please. Dice it. Dice Finally, it. dice it. And they and these don't smell like brains. Sure that's what it looks like, though. Making sure that we're holding a knife like a fire candle. And yep. they're all dry. Okay, time to chop them up. So into slices and then dices. Slices and dices! You're a poet and you didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a poet and you didn't even know it. <laughs> That's it. So we just need to finely dice that. Yep, finely dice. Okay. Play with the dice. And okay. do you need quite sharp knives to cut tomatoes? Because sometimes when I cut tomato, I put the knife on it and it just pushes the tomato, but it doesn't cut it. Yes, that's right. That's because tomatoes have quite a soft skin. Angela, so you need a very sharp should knife I chop this one in half them. or in quarters? Uh, half's fine. So have you got that little bowl for the skins? Remember how I said for the compost, Tara? Yes, here it is. Great. And here are the tomatoes. They look like, they look like when they're chopped up. Beautiful. So Tara's going to add the garlic now to the tomatoes. Yep. And that's the compost. Fantastic. Okay, Maybe pass the bowl to Tara so she can put in the garlic. Oh, sorry. I just went out to the garden to check, make sure we had enough basil. Here I am. Did you miss me? Yes. yes. So we've got our garlic and chopped up tomatoes in the bowl. If you'd like to have a look. And now I'm going to get Tara. Would you like to tear some basil leaves? <gasps> okay. Tear her? I know, oh. Carity, but if we cut basil with a knife, it goes black. So oh. we just need to gently tear the leaves. Can I get you to season the tomato? Yep, so I put a pinch of salt in. Pinch of salt? What season edge? It's where you flavour the food at the end, um, just before you serve it, with a bit of cracked pepper and salt. Mmm, mm, delicious! And As I opposed to the winter, spring season. <laughs> How many cracks of pepper do I need? A good grind. Yep. Other way. Good job, Tara. Tara. That's it won't hurt her, you know. Is that enough? A little more. It won't hurt her. She's actually probably happy that she's being That's used. That's the girl. I bet she is. Beautiful. You know that. And have you got a 
decent pinch of salt in there. Yep. Okay. Olive oil. A nice glug of olive oil. Glug! 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 Yeah. 